Primary School Math Olympiad, Speed and Distance Challenge 1. This is a challenge for Primary School Math Olympiad for questions related to speed and distance. There are five questions. The challenge is to complete them within 25 minutes. If you can't achieve it the first time, do not be disheartened. With practice, if one works hard and revise this challenge multiple times, one should be able to complete this challenge within 25 minutes. Question 1. John drove from town A to town B at a constant speed of 90 km per hour. However mid-journey he encountered heavy snowfall and decided to turn back. He drove at a slower constant speed of 60 km per hour back to town A. What was John's average speed for the whole journey? Question 2. John and Mary had a cycling race. John, who is a faster cyclist, allowed Mary to start at 6 a.m. John started the race at 6.15 a.m. If John's cycling speed is 12 km per hour and Mary's cycling speed is 10 km per hour, at what time did John catch up with Mary? Question 3. John and Mary left home at 9 a.m. Both walked in the same direction. John, who is faster, walked at a constant speed of 3 km per hour. Mary walked at 2 km per hour. Their father, Peter, decided to cycle and left the house at 9.30 a.m. Peter cycles at the speed of 6 km per hour. He cycled until he caught up with John, then turned back toward Mary. At what time did Peter meet Mary on the way back? Question 4. John and Jack are in two different locations A and B respectively. They run toward each other starting at the same time, but at different speeds. The first met at around 5.30 p.m. After reaching the location A and B respectively, both rested for 30 minutes. They then run back to their starting location using similar speed to their first run. Both met again at 6.36 p.m. At what time did John and Jack start their first run? Question 5. The track around a reservoir is 24 kilometers. John and Mary walk from the same point of the track in opposite directions. John is walking at 6 km per hour and rests for 10 minutes after every 50 minutes. Mary is walking at 4 km per hour and rests 5 minutes after every 55 minutes. Find the time taken for them to first meet. Answer for question 1. Let's find the common multiple for the two speed John was traveling which is 90 km per hour and 60 km per hour. The obvious one is 540. Please note that you do not need to find the smaller common multiple for the two numbers. Choose the obvious one and one that is easy to use later. For ease of understanding we plotted the data in the diagram on the right. You will find that the total distance traveled by John is 540 times 2 which is 1080 km. The time taken by John for the entire journey is 540 divided by 90 km per hour when he was traveling toward town B and 540 divided by 60 km per hour when he was traveling back to town A. Work out the equation and the total duration for the entire journey is 15 hours. Average speed is therefore equal to total distance traveled which is 1080 km divided by duration taken which is 15 hours. Work out the equation and the answer is 72 km per hour. Answer for question 2. Since Mary started at 6 a.m., thus at 6.15 a.m. Mary was already cycling for 15 minutes at 10 km per hour. 15 minutes is equal to 0.25 hour. Thus Mary was 2.5 km ahead when John started at 6.15 a.m. The 2.5 km is derived by 0.25 hour multiplied by 10 km per hour which is the speed of Mary. John's speed of 12 km per hour versus Mary's speed of 10 km per hour is 2 km per hour faster than Mary's. It means John takes 1 hour to catch up 2 km against Mary. As Mary is 2.5 km ahead, thus John took 2.5 km divided by his catch-up speed of 2 km per hour which is 1.25 hour or 1 hour 15 minutes to catch up with Mary. Therefore John caught up with Mary at 6.15 am plus 1 hour 15 minutes which is 7.30 am.
For the same question, you may be asked to look for different things. For example, you may be asked to provide the answer on how long did John take to catch up with Mary. In this case it is 1 hour and 15 minutes which we already derived earlier. You may be asked, how long was Mary already cycling when John caught up with her? Since Mary started the race 15 minutes earlier, thus the answer should be 1 hour and 15 minutes plus 15 minutes which is 1 hour 30 minutes or 1.5 hour. You may be asked, at what point during the race did John catch up with Mary? You can derive the answer by calculating the distance Mary covered or John covered when John caught up with Mary. Let's calculate using Mary's data. Since Mary already traveled 1 hour 30 minutes or 1.5 hour when John caught up with her, thus the distance she already covers is 1.5 multiplied by her speed of 10 km per hour, which gives you the answer of 15 km. Using John's data, you should arrive the same. John caught up with Mary after 1 hour 15 minutes or 1.25 hour. Thus the distance he covered is 1.25 multiplied by his speed of 12 km per hour, which gives you 15 km too. Answer for question 3. At 9.30 am John already walked for 30 minutes at 3 km per hour. He is 3 times 0.5 which is 1.5 km from home. Peter's speed is 6 minus 3 which is 3 km per hour faster than John. Thus it takes 1.5 divided by 3 which is 0.5 hour or 30 mins to catch up with John. They met at 9.30 a.m. plus 30 mins which is 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. both John and Peter are 3 kilometers from home and Mary is 2 kilometers from home. At 10 a.m. the distance between Peter and Mary is 3 minus 2 which is 1 kilometer. Since both Peter and Mary are moving toward each other, their combined speed is equal to 6 plus 2, which is 8 km per hour. Peter and Mary took 1 over 8 of an hour or 7.5 minutes to cover the 1 km. As such they met at 10 am plus 7.5 minutes which is 10.07 am and 30 seconds. Answer for question 4. Such a question is easier to solve without using algebra. The time taken by John and Jack from their first meeting to second meeting is 6.36 p.m. minus 5.30 p.m. minus 30 minutes of rest, which is equal to 36 minutes. 36 minutes divided by 2 is equal to 18 minutes for the journey they first met. Thus both started at 5.30 p.m. minus 18 minutes, which is 5.12 p.m. Let's solve it using algebra. Assume both John and Jack start at a time t. d1 equal to v1 times open bracket, 530 minus t, close bracket. d2 equal to v2 times open bracket, 530 minus t, close bracket. d is equal to d1 plus d2 which is equal to the combined speed of v1 and v2 times open bracket, 530 minus t, close bracket. Total time taken to complete the D is 6.36 p.m. minus 5.30 p.m. minus 30 minutes of rest, which is 36 minutes. 2D is equal to the combined speed of John and Jack times 36 minutes. Replacing D with the value with variable V1 and V2. Work out the equation, you will find T is 5.12 p.m. Answer for question 5. For ease of understand, please create a table as shown. Based on the table, John and Mary meet between 2 and 3 hour. After 2 hour, the distance between John and Mary is 24 minus 18, which is 6 kilometers. At the 2 hour mark, they will not rest till they meet, thus time taken for them to meet is 6 over the combined speed of John and Mary, which is 10. The result is 0.6 hours which is 36 mins. Hence they meet at 2 hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.